Bum 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 The Peter Dislike Show Bum 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 Oh happy Sunday I realize there's more to be that I need to work on in terms of having healthy relationships at work. Something happened yesterday, Saturday, that taught me that I'm not in as much control as I wish I were with some of the work culture issues. Um, to understand what happened, we need to go back a little bit in time. Uh, a year ago when I was working at a different place, what had happened was I was working at a tutoring center and I often uh, got um, some of the less desirable assignments because of my situation in life and uh, my uh, and how badly I sucked at negotiating what I wanted. Some of these nonverbal communications, if you will. Let me, let, me, let me elaborate a little bit. I had a colleague who was in his mid-40s, I want to say, a little bit older than me, had a few kids that he shared custody with, with his um, ex-wife. And so, um, I uh, I was working during the weekdays, Monday through Friday. He had some different hours. Um, he, he had a separate career as a comedian. And the, the, the tutoring work was only a part-time job for him. And um, one Saturday, I uh, get a call to... Uh, Asking if I wanted to uh, work at this other campus of the same um, center, what had happened was my I think my colleague had um, COVID nineteen or some 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 family emergency. I can't remember the details. Now the other center is a good commute away, thirty five forty minutes away, and it's a Saturday. But you know what? I I naively thought we were a team. I'll get to to why that didn't work in a second, but. There was a lunar eclipse I wanted to see two, three months later, and um, I thought, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll help my colleague in this situation. There are other things that I want out of my life as well. Uh, my colleague, after all, he, he uh, has a bunch of, you know, because he has kids who are eight, nine years old. They got family, friends, and all that. I was hoping to network with the right people, right? He, he would have had other friends who were in their 30s and 40s, right? And, you know, it's it's difficult to meet those people uh, in, in that age bracket, right? So so that's what I'm thinking when I go to uh, work on that Saturday. And I, it's a one-off event, right? He's not going to have COVID-19 every weekend, right? Or whatever the family situation. I can't remember the details. Well, I got to the center and um, the student involved uh, really fell in love with my tutoring and wanted me uh, there uh, from then on in, which also created a rift uh, with my uh, colleague, if you will. So it, it's all around an awkward situation. And also it's a good commute away for two hours of work, right? It's a good 35, 40 minutes commute away. And I'm thinking to myself, gee, that, I, I don't think that's what I agreed to. I agreed to help out my colleague um, one time because he had an emergency and also I didn't agree to cause conflict with my colleague right and so I certainly didn't agree to commute there every Saturday and I'm working the other uh, five other days during the week as well so it's very frustrating and so that's and then on top of that I didn't even get the day off after the lunar eclipse what had happened was um, just after I filled in for that session, I thought that would be a great time to ask for something in return. So I go up to my boss, and um, he goes, well, that's so early. You know, that shouldn't be a problem. Now, given that he had already said, oh, that's so early, I didn't want to bother him again. See, in retrospect, what I should have done is followed after that one ask, right, I think it would have been on Monday that I asked him about that. What I should have done is gone home and sent him an email. Hey, thanks for talking about the lunar eclipse on whatever date, right? Uh, I'm glad I asked early. I should have done that. I, um, I, I, I was too trusting. I really hate that I have to do that, by the way. I, I, I love being able to trust people, right? So, for example, for example, um, right now there's a... a, a 
there's a girl that I'm involved with. If I if I ask her if she would, wants to go see a movie with me, go see a lunar eclipse with me, let's say I see her tonight, right, and I ask her, I don't feel a sense of needing to follow up and email her and, and put it in writing and, and carve it in stone. If I had to do that, she wouldn't be a girl that I would ask out anymore, right? I, I, I hate that I have to I have to verify things at work. I have to trust but verify at work. I wish I could just trust. Um, I, I really do. I really do. It, it, it's, it's very, it's not that complicated to send an email. It, the, the problem is that I have to do it. It kind of reminds me of, I used to live with uh, roommates, and so oftentimes so my roommates had a hard time putting stuff back, you know, the, uh, uh, silverware would disappear at the, at the home, and so it, it's not complicated for me to buy silverware every day, right? It, 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 but it's, it's just annoying that I have to deal with my roommates that way. If I remember correctly, I was living in a house in Levine here in Phoenix two years ago, and I decided to buy a hundred forks. They were on sale that time, and I decided to buy a hundred forks because my, my roommates kept wanting to steal them. And I left a note in there saying, if you like to steal forks, go ahead. You know, they're very cheap for me. And I hope it makes you feel better. Something to that effect. And so it's just very frustrating that I have to deal with that way. Okay. Now, fast forward a year later. Yesterday, I get a call from my colleague uh, asking if I would help her um, she uh she had some kind of it wasn't an emergency this time just that she would she would have wanted to do something and you know what was really funny yesterday was quite a lonely day for me anyhow and i in an ideal world i would have wanted to do it except that i didn't want to i didn't want to set the precedent that every time something came up on a saturday that they could call me so i got confused on what to do and so i just kind of said that you know what i'm not really available and i wish i didn't have to do that and so I'll have to think hard about that because I, I actually do wish that in an ideal world I would have filled in yesterday and the next time something comes up, you know, um, I, uh, after all, I, I, I am hoping to ask this girl out, you know, if she's only available on a Tuesday when I have to work. I, 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 in an ideal world, my colleague would help as well. But of course, they, they're all about family values, right? The people who are already in an established family, like my colleague, she's married, right? She wanted to take her kids someplace. I can't even, I, I didn't even ask her what it was. And so, um, for some reason, it doesn't seem to reciprocate in the same way, right? I'd like to, I'd like to, to, to someday be in her shoes and maybe not have kids, but at least have a best friend forever. See, part of the reason that work challenges sometimes get the, uh, sometimes are a little bit harder for me than somebody else, is that I don't have somebody back home taking care of the household work, right? So, for example, my colleague who wanted me to fill in yesterday. Uh, on next Tuesday, at least she can count on her dinner being ready, or at least um, one of them can cook instead of both of them, right? Uh, and she doesn't think about that, obviously. I I'd like to be in her position one day. Now, in a previous life, two years ago, I also helped a different colleague. She was Filipino. I was hoping to network with um, other Filipinos. Um, and um, that didn't turn out. Obviously, COVID went on a lot longer than any of us anticipated. Now, during COVID, I was programming an AI for the game of Ticket to Ride Poland. And so, um, COVID had just ended. We had just gone back to the office. And I was I was hoping somebody could uh, play the board game with me because I, I hardly ever find anybody to play board games with me. And she just tells me how busy she is. And, 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 and then I would open up her Facebook and see that she was pretty much busy over nothing. Uh, and I was very upset. And so I, uh, you know, I, I, I nicknamed the AI for the game um, E. Polonium because it was the 125th anniversary of Mary Curry discovering polonium. But I thought my colleague ought to, ought to get a lethal injection of polonium for how she treated me. Anyways, so just, just awkward. I, 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 I spent the last night tossing and turning, thinking that, you know, I kind of wasted my Saturday when I really could have been helping my colleague, but I didn't, A, I didn't want to set a precedence, and B, I didn't want to feel disrespected. So I'll have to think about how to do that. And also, I, I, I hate that I have to trust but verify everything 
at work. I, I find myself sending a lot of written documentation every time I, I, I ask for a day off, every time I ask, is this the right way to handle this at work? And I, I just, I, I really despise that I'm not trusting anybody anymore. So feel free to leave a comment if you have a solution to any of this. This is the Peter Dislike Show. Bum, 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 bum. The Peter Dislike Show. Bum, 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 bum.